Nice wet bird. Wet, but dead. You got him. All right. Lynn's still up to bat. So I'm gonna be running camera. Andy's behind this camera, cause guess what? Heather and I made it to Illinois. Andy got to hunt all day yesterday with Lynn by himself and didn't kill one. In the pouring rain. That's true. But if they weren't pouring, they'd have killed at least two. Oh, at least. At least two. That's what we said yesterday. But now they came up and uh, scouted this area. Was it yesterday after y'all hunted? Yeah, yeah, they drove around. They drove around in the rain, basically, and saw Chuck. They saw about four or five strutters out strutting around in the field, still doing their thing, but it's foggy this morning, but it is calm, so. It's supposed to stay calm all the way to one o'clock, one mile an hour wind all day today, so. It should. Good. It should be good this morning, which Heather's behind the gun with Andy, so we're gonna try to split up and get on two different birds. I'm gonna be behind the camera with old Lynn. See if we can't lay the hammer. Of course, Heather's still <laughs> in there on her phone. Which I'm on my phone, but yeah, I'm looking I'm, I'm looking at on X. See what's the best way for you guys to go yeah. anywhere. Yeah. If the, cause, to coming down the road. I don't know, but that's okay. We're gonna get it done nonetheless. All right, these birds are staying in the woods. They didn't want to come toward us at all. I don't know if it's because this grass is so wet and foggy this morning, if, or if it's just so foggy that they don't want to move. But we were set up right here on one of our deer food plots. Well, uh, we decided while it's still foggy, we're gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and try to make a move and get in the woods with them. See if we can get it done. Try to get close as we can.
from here. It's ready to go. Shoot. Come on. You hear him? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, kill it. Yeah, you got time. What'd you do the first time? I don't know. <laughs> Way to go, girl. You got your right time. I don't know why he hung around. I don't know what's going to get him. Hey, you hit him. I think you hit him the first time. Go ahead and get him off for you. Make sure. Oh. Well. Good <laughs> hunt. Yeah, you got him the second time for sure. He's gonna come in. He got nervous, didn't he? Well, he got nervous right there. I mean, but he wasn't 30 yards. Yeah. So, uh, well, he could probably see us. I wasn't sure. Yeah, he's laying right there. He's gonna keep. There you go, Heather Ray. <laughs> that was exciting, wasn't it? Yeah. He's kind of goblin. We got hey, him in. There's quite a few birds in here, too. More than just him, that's for sure. Way to go. Got some awesome footage of him coming walking through there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We made the right move. We had to get in the woods with him. They wouldn't, he wouldn't, they wouldn't no way he'd have come all the way out to that food pot. They can't see very far. No, they well. can't. That's, that's why I thought if we get in the woods with him, you know, he's going to come looking for us. As you guys can see, I mean, you can see through the woods, but it's it's from what it's thick and it's foggy. So these birds had to come looking for us. Good two-year-old. Yeah. Had a nice beard on him. Good long. beard on him. That's long. Yeah, Big old long beard. <laughs> yes. Well, as you can see, we had an awesome morning here. Heather and David got up from Tennessee last night and uh, we got out here this morning. It's an awesome day. It's supposed to be beautiful. It's supposed to be like 71 degrees and a one mile an hour wind all day. So we really figured that they would gobble good this morning. And uh, especially after yesterday, it was cold and wet and windy. And uh, we were right, man. They just, they talked good on the limb, didn't they? I mean, as soon as we pulled up in the truck out here, we could hear them gobbling. But uh, we first set up about 100 yards from here, right in the edge of a food plot, and they were gobbling in the woods. They, di they didn't want to come out into that thicket, into that wet food plot, so we got up and got in the, in the woods with them. And I think really one of the things that saved us on this hunt, because it's, it's, there's some big trees in here, but it's still hard to get set up on them, but this fog this morning, down on ground level, it was pretty thick and hard to see. I mean, you can really still, still only see about 100 yards, can't you? Yeah. I mean, it's still pretty thick. So that gobbler had to uh, had to come in looking for us. We didn't have any decoys out at all. So it's just uh, just an awesome timber hunt. Lonely bird. Lonely bird. Lonely two year old. Well, we're back in a great state of Tennessee. Uh, spent the weekend in Illinois. Hunted hard. Had real bad weather. Um, I, we were we were able to get get Heather on a bird, and she killed a bird on Friday. Um, but like I said, we're we're back here. Got a little bit of turkey frustration right now, so we're going to try to let off some of that frustration this morning. Uh, we're, we got a little bit of rain in the area, and it's sprinkling and coming down. So we're going to get out here. We're going to we got a we got a blind set up right on the edge of a food plot. So we're going to get in there and do some calling. Hopefully, we've got one roosted fairly close there, so we can we can work him to get him in there.
Well, we've got in the blind. Oh, we got a bird directly behind us, goblin, and we've got one back out at an angle. These, both of these birds are probably about 150 yards apart. Well, um, we're going to stay after it here. We're going to start doing a little bit of tree yelps right now. And see if we can get one of these two dudes to roll on up in here this morning. Uh, weather still like it has been pretty much all season for me and Ethan every time we've showed up. Even when they're not calling for rain, we've got rain. So uh, still a little sprinkling out. So we're kind of trapped down in this thing, but we're gonna make the best of it. I'm telling you what, this old boy, he came out into this far corner over here and he got out in the, that red top clover which the two hens come in. I don't know if Ethan got it or not, but we had two hens come in in this corner down here. And one of the hens actually come running to her hen decoy. She actually took her earrings out and everything to come up here and actually started to fight with her hen decoy. I mean, she whooped up on this old girl. The other hen stayed down here in this corner. And um, and after that hen whooped her hen, she left. Uh, this guy got quiet, so we figured he was on the move coming in. And um, I mean, like I said, pretty much everything else, um, Ethan was rolling pretty good on it. Like I said, he strutted all the way across that red top clover, come in up here. Wouldn't get real close to the decoy. We had another hen that was just probably don't five, would you say five yards? Just five yards outside the blind. And um, worked perfect. I mean, like I said, we we had a tough, tough, tough weekend in Illinois. Me and Andy and David hunted hard for four days. Bad weather, rainy, windy. I mean, we had a lot of frustrations after this weekend not heard anything from Andy in the last little bit. Hopefully he's able to get on that bird. Like I said earlier, he's he's not, as a crow would fly, he's not three or four miles away from us. So hopefully those guys have good luck too. And uh, let's go out here and check this old boy out. Oh. How's Andy? He's texting, I told him we had a bird down. He said, good footage this time. E got it rolling. So baby, he's got it rolling. 
Hi, that one's still goblin back here. Is he still goblin? He's still goblin back there. this morning. Haven't had a whole lot of that this year where they work perfect. Look at there. He's a lot. Oh, all out here. Of course he's not what 20 yards, 25 yards probably. Yeah, probably 25 yards. And as you can see everything that he's in here right now this is a red top clover that I planted back in probably it was early September. I've already mowed it once and it's already come back up again, but both hens, this bird too, I mean, they've been wearing this stuff out this year, so. Let's take a look at him here. Oh yeah, it's a pretty good bird there. Got some sharp spurs. Beard's a little spindly, but. <laughs> Looks like we're about to get wet. Do you know what? Looks like we're about to get wet. Yeah, we're about to get wet. That's, that's been pretty much the been pretty much every every time we've got out this year, pretty much. So good looking bird though, boys. I'm hey man, I'm I'm tickled to death. Yeah. Boy, it never gets old. Never gets old. Been doing this for 25 years and still get excited. Got to shaking in the blind. Just knew this old boy was working his way all the way up through here. I kept asking Nathan because I, I was in a spot where I couldn't see him all the time. And I kept saying, is he working? Yeah, yeah, he's coming, he's coming. You know, so yeah. Still got, still got the shakes, boys. If you ever lose that, you might as well wrap it up. Just not even go anymore. 